This is a demo of a simple tool that can be used to write and automate tests against T-SQL code. It is called TST, which stands for T-SQL Test Tool. It is similar to other tools like SPUnit, however, it offers a richer and more mature set of features. You need to have SQL Server 2005 or later on the system where you want to install the tool. The tool is available for download on the Codeplex website. Go to http tst.codeplex.com. From there, click on the Releases tab. To start the download, locate the section Downloads and Files and click on the link provided there. Go to the folder where you extracted the contents of the downloaded zip file. There, double click on the file tst.bat. This will install on your local SQL Server a database called tst. It is all you need to start using the tool. Let's start with a simple example. I added to the Northwind database a function called tinyint to binary. This function takes a tinyint parameter and returns a string representation of its binary value. For example, if called with the value 5, it will return the string 101. We are going to write a test for this function. We can do this by creating a stored procedure called SQL test underscore tiny int to binary. The prefix SQL test underscore will allow TST to recognize it as a test and pick it up automatically during a test session. Inside this stored procedure we are going to invoke our function. We'll assign the return value to a variable and then use a TST API called assert.equals to validate it against the expected result. Let's execute this script so that our test procedure gets created. At this point we have a working test. To run it, I am going to switch to the command prompt and run tst slash run all followed by the name of the database where our test procedure is. Here is the result and it indicates that the test is passing. We are going to switch back to the SQL Management Studio and add more to our test. Let's say that the contract of tiny into binary specifies that when called with a null parameter, it will return null. We are going to validate this part of the contract using a different TST API. Assert dot is null. We are also going to validate a few more cases with various values for the input parameter. Let's execute this script. And now, let's run our test again. This time, instead of using the common prompt, we'll use SQL statements. I will open a new script window and write exec tst.runner.runall again followed by the name of our database. Let's run it and uh, here is the result that indicates that the test is passing. If you run the test using SQL statements instead of the common prompt, you can then access programmatically the test log entries. Also, the TST tool can generate results in an XML format. All this will allow you to easily integrate TST with build tools or other test frameworks. It is important to mention that TST offers APIs that can be used to validate store procedures that return a table. You can also use the same API to test functions that return tables or to test views. The TST documentation including the quick start section, has details about this. To install the TST quick start database, go to the command prompt to the location where you downloaded the tool and run tst slash quick start. To execute the sample tests container, run tst slash run all and the name of the quick start database, which is tst quick start.